Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time, our adventure began by saying goodbye to one lovely gal and saying hello to another. Hey, where you see pixel aliasing, I say it's in the eye of the beholder. Plenty of people like 2D. Anyway, uh, we met Oceus and Ciela, who agreed to help us on our travels in finding the ghost ship that took Tetra away, and we made it to this village. Would you like to introduce it? Yeah, we're on the island of Merkay, specifically Merkay Port. I'm not a selfish narrator. I'll let you townsfolk introduce it sometimes. Seems the ghost ship's influence is felt here too, except for one brave soul who recently docked his ship, that is. Brave or foolish, I'll let you decide, because this time we are going looking for Lineback, the expert on the ghost ship. Urgh, not again. This crummy bridge breaks down every time we have a quake. I don't have time to keep babysitting this thing, not when ships need fixing, but OSHA says that bridges are just as important as ships. When that old man tells you to do something, you do it like it or not. Ooh, I hate that OSHA. Anything to avoid OSHA's nagging me all the time. I like how out of everything, it's the nagging that has this guy on edge. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Bridges are just as important as ships. They both get you across the water just by varying levels of cost effectiveness depending on how far they're going to do it. <sighs> I can't wait to sit down at the milk bar and gulp down a glass. Just a bit tired. Gonna wait here for a spell and take a breather. <laughs> Why is everyone always in such a darn rush? Take a break now and then, I say. I thought he was going to start to take a break before I start to feel tired, but I guess this does kind of predate that being in every game by a little bit. Uh, buddy, geezer, I've been- I've saved the world at least once. You don't have to censor yourself around me and saying, oh yeah, I was drinking a uh, milk. Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if only she were mine. Hey, buddy, if she becomes yours, at least she's already painted white. It belongs to a sea captain. What goes by the name of Lineback? Shouldn't it be who? I'm questioning everybody's English skills lately. I have not learned that I am deft at... I have learned that I am very... Not very deft at speaking English. I don't know if that's the right word. Man, I'm even questioning my own English. Wow. A fearless soul, I hear. He's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What, you're searching for Lineback? Yeah, and you seem to be the president of his fan club, so you are a really good place to start. The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Uh, perhaps the bar owner knows where Lineback has vanished to. Well, seems like the port is not what we needed. Uh, wh wh whoa! I didn't know you could- <laughs> Okay, normally- Oh, it does it all along the- Oh, Linky likes to dance and sing, do da, do da. Oh, yes, he really, yes, he does. Oh, do da day. Gonna hop all night, gonna hop all day. <laughs> okay, I was testing the limits of that. Wow, all right. Uh, we must give thanks. I didn't know that you could do that. And that's uh, it's, uh, gonna be a source of hours of enjoyment because this is me we're talking about. <laughs> now, um, I'd like to direct special attention over to the map as I've said that it's very important. We know where the milk bar is if that geezer is to be believed, but I would like to get you- uh, You heard me talking about him. Animals always know when you're gonna do things they won't like. Uh, come- Come here. Uh, maybe you? Uh, maybe- uh, Come on. Come on. Uh, I should be really happy that I got that one on the first try last time. Uh, shouldn't we be looking for Lineback? Let's go to the- No, we already went to the port. He's not- There is an invisible wall stopping me from claiming my chicken! Come on! <laughs> Alright, you. Come over here. Get stuck on a wall or something. Uh, can I not? Okay. Get over here. Uh, wait. I thought Tattle was the chicken for a second. Oh. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Uh, get, get out from back there. Thank you. Okay. Let's corral him into a corner. Do this a little bit better this time. Okay. Man, I should really, really be proud of myself for doing it in one try. Look at the map. There is a ledge that you can't normally get over to, but with a cuckoo, you can fly for a brief period. We're gonna open up this chest and see it contains... Goron Amber! This hard, valuable mineral has a bug inside of it. If we go into our collection menu, we can see that this is what's known as a treasure. There are several types of these, and I don't know what this item does. And neither do you. Every playthrough, 
Items like this have their uses randomized. This could be an amazing item and I would have no way of knowing it right now, or it could be garbage. And what might be my trash might be your treasure as well. It's a way that differs every playthrough and you don't know what you're getting. The chest contents are randomized as well whenever you pick up a treasure chest. So on two fronts, it's an exciting mystery. You know, I've been to a lot of places, but the milk here, it's the best, yum. <laughs> Just kind of a cool little thing, and I think it does add a lot of excitement to it, because who knows what it might be. A new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drift in here while, uh, while away the hour, to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment. But aren't you a dead short to be in here? Take no offense. Uh, excuse me, they lowered the milk drinking age to one, thank you very much. Uh, you'll be more than welcome when, you're, when you've gone a little farther in life. Looking for Linebeck? Sure, I know him. And that chair there knew him recently. Linebeck just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried stopping that crazy fellow, but he went to the north side of our isle. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King! Listen up, youngin. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. And that temple uh, up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid on the place that sucks the souls from all who enter. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so put, put it out of your mind. Can't say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there. Yes, steer clear. That's, oh, that's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? Right here on your map. You're not actually going there, are you? I'll have you know that on this adventure so far... I have listened to what grown-ups have told me to do exactly 0% of the time. And it's the only thing that has gotten me this far, so I'm going to continue on this trend. Before we go up, though, I want to stop at the store real quick. So we have quite a few items. This is a Helmarok plume, 270 rupees, pretty pricey. This is another one of those treasures that we've seen. We have a mysterious item for 500 rupees. As we don't know what that does, I don't really think that's worth our money based on the same logic. We don't have any way of carrying bombs, so not that either. This red potion restores six hearts, but it's also kind of steep in price. And then there's this wooden shield. I am 10 rupees short of buying this, and this was the thing I actually wanted. Oh boy, okay. Well, we're going to be delaying this a little bit. I wanted to stop in and show you these items. So I guess for the time being, we'll head on off to the north. As over by there, it's not only where we gotta go. Uh, let's see if maybe we can get a few rupees. Uh, we learned that rolling into trees often yields good results. Nothing and nothing. One out of three. Uh, come on. One out of four. One out of five? One out of six? There it is! Uh, <laughs> sorry for Mike wazowski you, Link! A big green rupee that we will never get to see its model! It's worth 100 rupees! I wanted to show that off because now you have no reason to not buy that wooden shield! And I truly mean that because I had the very good reason of being too poor. <laughs> Protects from light attacks, basically, distant projectiles while not swinging your sword will just automatically be blocked by it. It's a very useful item, you might as well buy it, it can only help you, not hurt you, and the amount of money is not that consequential in the long run. And since we have the extra money, I'm thinking maybe might as well get a red potion while we're at it. Six hearts is way more than we're ever going to need for a very long time, and we got the cash, so hey. For those of you veterans, you're probably thinking, oh wow, that's nice that that includes a bottle. No, actually. You start with two empty bottles. I guess they're the only two things of links that were not washed away in the tides. You don't have to worry about collecting bottles. You just kind of start with them. Back over by the tree that wielded a 100 rupee prize. Any sort of big prize that you get from rolling into a tree, you cannot collect multiple times. Just so you know, it is not a grinding spot. Over here, we have a new enemy. This is a crow. It is not called a Takuri. Even though its main purpose is swooping down and stealing your rupees, it is just a crow. Nice and creative. It's negatively creative, in fact, because there was already a more creative name for it, and they just ignored it. I'm sticking with that term, negative creativity. It managed to remove creativity from something that already existed. 
Unfortunately, there is no different sound when slashing at a crack in the wall. I kind of wish there was, but no dice here. Aha! So this is the Temple of the Ocean King. Legend has it, the temple was built to honor the mighty ocean. You don't say. But the temple has fallen into ruin, and people say it ruins any who enter. Still, we have to find Linebeck, so let's dive right on in, Link. It better not be a water dungeon. Okay, good, you're safe. Only I can make that many puns per second, and you kind of had that whole ruins everyone who enters thing. You were kind of pushing the envelope a little bit, and I had to keep you in check. Whoa! Look, Link! It looks like someone's skeleton. What's it doing here? You don't think this could be Linebeck. This is really starting to creep me out. I foolishly entered this temple. In moments, it drained the life right out of me. So even if you clear a trap, it resets once you leave. I should have made notes on my map but I couldn't make notes on the maps that have this icon. I entered the temple in search of the treasure, but monsters that could not be slain with a sword stalked the corridors. Hey! Wait, did you hear something, Link? Hey! Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Yeah, it was ve yelling very loudly both times. Hey, there's someone over there, Link! You! Kid! Over here, kid! I'm talking to you! You came at the right time! You're lucky you found me. Lucky for me, but luckier for you! Now help me! Oh, him? Uh, that's Lineback. Hey! Are you listening? I said help! What is he screaming about? You do not have very good hearing, do you? <laughs> For someone pleading to be saved, he sure is rude. What did you say? The, oh, it's that chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to what I have to say. I know you're a kid and all, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here, and I don't know what to do. Normally, I'd free myself without any problem, but... I sprained my ankle, and I can't move. Will you help? You seem to be standing just fine. What? Wait! Can't you see that I'm begging? Come on, please! Kid, you're just heartless. You've got nothing to lose. Come on, help me out. No way. Oh, he's just repeating at this point. You always gotta find the point of looping before you say yes to helping anybody in video games. It's just the way that we are. I knew you'd come through for me, kid. Well then! Do something about these pointy spikes. There's got to be a way to disarm the traps somewhere around here. Fine, Lineback, just wait there. Let's help him out, Link. Oh, uh, hey, uh, wait a second! There's something I forgot to tell you. One thing you should know about this temple. It'll suck the life right out of you. Why didn't you tell us that sooner? That's pretty important, you know. Let me finish. Don't go running away yet. I know it's scary, but it's not like the temple will suck the life out of you all the time. I'm not sure why, but as long as you stand on areas like this, you'll be okay. Show me that map. See all the pur those purple spaces? They are probably safe zones. Were you listening? Did you get all that? Keep your strength up, kid. Don't be shy about breaking pots. Oh, this guy gets it. As he says, we have a time limit. Rolling is your friend. You take damage for every second that you are out of the protection of these, uh, call them purified protected zones. Yeah. Differences that don't restore you to full health. Are you kidding me? That little boy did it! Okay. I'm taking that as my cue to get out of here. Freedom! <laughs> he looks so constipated when he walks, I love it. Now, you cannot get into this area while Linebeck is in it, but if you could, he would actually call you out for cheating by saying, how did you get this far anyway? 
there is no normal way to see this in typical gameplay, so it's really funny that they thought ahead for doing this. I love it when they think to put things in impossible situations. Inside this... Well, that makes everything awkward. I was about to celebrate. Oh no, it's empty. I wonder if somebody got to it before us. Gee, I wonder who that could have been. I think I'm gonna go prod that skeleton who said that he was in search of the treasure because that seems pretty likely. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Phew. I think we can take a quick breather. Hey, you said you sprained your ankle. You're walking just fine. You said you needed our help. Bah, it's not like you're the one who did the saving. Hey, kid. You're pretty brave for someone so short. I mean, not as brave as me, but not too shabby. So your name's Link, huh? That's a weird name. The name's Linebeck. I'm a real man of the sea. Oh, would you say that you're a sea man? Impressive, huh? It was smooth sailing for me in the beginning, but then I got myself stuck in that trap. This place will suck the life out of you if you let it. Blasted temple. What are you doing in a place like this anyway? And what did you want from me, kid? What? You're looking for the ghost ship? So you're trying to get your mitts on the treasure! Treasure? What are we even talking about? Link is trying to save his friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship. We came hoping you might know more about it. Oh, really? <laughs> How sweet. I think I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm just teasing, kid. If that's what this is about, I'm on board. I'm here looking for info about the ghost ship, too. I was just a step away, but I sprained my ankle. Otherwise, I would have explored this cursed place. Liar. I just saw you running like running like a rabbit. No, uh, no, you didn't. Uh, that was just an illusion. My ankle's still throbbing. The pain is unbearable. Ah, 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 the pain. Anyway, you want to know about the ghost ship? Go on without me, kid. Go grab the clue about the ghost ship. It has to be in there. We need it to find the ship. Got that? You're faking it. I think you're just scared. What is it with Link getting dazed in all of these cutscenes? <laughs> Not a chance. Normally, I'd be leading the charge down there, but I know how much it means to Link. I'm letting him have the glory of saving his friend. So, uh, anyway, uh, here, uh, take this with you, kid. I found this key around here. It might help. <laughs> I love it when they play with the formula there. Second time in this dungeon, too. Oh, we got our small key in the most interesting way possible. You know what you've got to do, so get to it. Oh, and, uh, good luck in there, kid. Well, he sounds like the typical adult from a child's perspective. Always feels like you're being taken advantage of, and you're sick and tired of doing everything for him, but it's not like you really have much of a choice because they're taller than you. They could step on you if they wanted. All right, well, we're getting into the second half of this first floor. Gonna grab that. Not quite break even. We got a switch. Turns off the spikes, and we're finally getting in touch with a real pirate other than Tetra, and I... Okay, that was a trap. Uh, all right. Um, go, 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 go. Oh, man. Oh, wow. We're actually in really bad shape. This is not good. Uh, hit that. Hitting both switches at the same time is what opens the door. That's why I was rushing. Oh, my gosh. We are in bad shape. Um, I was gonna say... We're finally getting to see a real pirate other than Tetra, and I gotta say, I've been I've been wanting to see those rules for being pirates ever since she mentioned that there were some. So, uh, pirate rule number six. Never tiptoe over knee-high spikes lest thy ankle get sprained. That is the lesson I have learned from our first meeting. Now that we've learned our first real rule of being a pirate, unfurling before you is the sea chart resting at the end of this one-floor dungeon. If you're wishing for more floors, Oh, you innocent soul, I envy you. I wonder if that's a clue to the ghost ship Lineback was talking about. You have been, okay, I gotta say this. Ciela started out really good. She had a lot of spunk to her. She has a lot of personality in cutscenes. 
She was starting off pretty well. I like her in the opening cutscenes, but wow, when you have tutorial fairy syndrome, you have tutorial fairy syndrome. It's pretty bad, a lot of the stuff that she is bothering to spell out for us. Hey! Oh, I thought you were going to say listen right as I was saying that. Where's Lineback? Can you believe the nerve of that guy making us go in here by ourselves? Now that we got the C-chart, I got some words for him. There's the Ciela I love. Oh, -ho, if it isn't the little monkey and his twinkly pal. Slow getting the goods, eh? Slow? How dare you? You were quick enough to run off, injury and all. What an insult. I was merely, merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain worth his salt puts his ship... There have been a lot of puns, and I don't know if they've been intentional or not, though, but he said that he was on board with us when we said that we needed to go with him, and... I don't know. I I like it, but I'm also not sure how many of these were intentional. I like that worth is all. But tell me, little monkey, what did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, oh, map. Let me add it. Ha, <laughs> what's this? Some boring old sea map? Oh, now I see. It is, is, as we call it in the adventuring business, a treasure map. If we probe its mysteries, we can find the very prize I'm seeking. The ghost ship! And by we, I mean me! Farewell, little monkey! I am off to find adventure! Did he really just do that? He muscles in on our map, and then runs off with it. What should we do next? Meet line back at his ship link? One way or another, whether he likes it or not, he is taking us with him. We gotta get that map back. But I think we're gonna save that for next time. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we're going to find some way to convince him to bring us out to sea. Then I won't just be an adventuring monkey, I'll be a sea monkey. See you guys then.